This is also where we start to change our focus from procedural programming where it's functions and step-by-step -step and actions and subroutines and subfunctions, all these type of things into object-oriented programming or OOP. This time we're going to start focusing, because you really should have a good foundation this first part, now we start worrying about the data and how we can construct the data to frankly make our lives a little easier, but make our application more robust. So here, the functions and the actions and everything else that we've learned before is now going to start interacting and really working with the data that is the focus in our application.